Look at the size difference. So I can just clip them on my set bag. How cute that is. Bonjour! In today's video, I'm going to create the tiniest and cutest concealer and lipstick palettes. So a couple of weeks ago, I was shopping online trying to find, you know, new things to depot my kit and make it even smaller. And I came across this view set, view set, is that how we say? Um, palettes. Look how tiny they are. I could not believe it. So I obviously had to buy a couple. This brand view set is pretty popular amongst makeup artists. I feel like they were the first brand to offer different sort of containers to depot kits. I remember buying my first view set palette when I was in makeup school. So that was about 10 years ago. Um, just to create um, a lipstick palette. And I know that a lot of people are using them. I kind of switch to something different. Now I'm mostly using um, these perfect palettes. It's just a magnetic palette that comes with empty pans. So you can just organize them the way that you want. Because I just find that these palettes from view sets are so hard to clean. For example, if the products you uh, depotted are expired and you need to clean the palette and refill it with fresh products, these are just a nightmare to clean because you have, it's so tedious, it takes forever. Like I'm sure a lot of people just buy new ones instead of cleaning them because you really have to go with a Q-tip like in all the little corners, like it's, trust me, it's a nightmare. So that's why I switched to something else. But when I saw how tiny these are and how practical they could be, um, I, uh, that's fine, I'll suffer at some point when my products expire, but I, I think, I hope it'll be worth it. So I'm planning to make one for concealers and the other one for lip products so I can put them both in my set bag. I will talk more about my set bag in a future video, but just in a few words. It's a bag that makeup artists have all day long on set. It's usually for people who work in film and TV, I would say. Not every makeup artist has a set bag, uh, but when you work in on these kind of sets, you need to have all the basics in your bag with you at all times. So again, concealers, powders, some hairspray, um, whatever you need to do touch-ups on your talents. And obviously concealer and lip products is part of that. So what I would usually do is to carry these four um, MAC concealer palettes with me. I have four different shades. But as you can see, it's still quite bulky because my set bag gets pretty heavy and I, it's on my shoulder all day long. So if I can reduce its weight, I'm going for it. And also it's a lot of product. I could really downsize it because again, it's not for a full makeup application. It's only for very minimal touch-ups in case it's needed. And then for lip products, I usually take this palette with me, I just put it like that in my bag. And then for lip balms, I just like take the one that I'm using and throw it somewhere in my bag, like in one of the small pockets. But to be honest, it's not practical at all because they just get lost. And then when you're doing a touch up on set, everyone's waiting for you. So you have to be very quick and very efficient. And I spend a lot of time just like going through my bag, trying to find the right shade. And then like, you know, like I just waste too much time because my bag is a little bit too messy. So that's why these palettes, I think are gonna be great, 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 great addition. It's small, it's compact. It will still be pretty light even when it's full. And you can put 16 different products in it. For the lip palette, I think I will put skincare products, so mainly lip balms, on the first row. 
and then for the other rows I will put the most popular lipsticks like the ones that I use the most and it will be mainly lipsticks from this palette from Danessa Marix. If you're a makeup artist and you're looking for lipsticks these are the best and honestly the shades are amazing like this is what I use the most and I also have a couple lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. I will now zoom in the camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing and before we do that I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel if it's not already done and if you could like this video as well. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to see some photos of my work and if you want to see my everyday life as a pro makeup artist. Let's start with the concealer. So I have these four shades that I'm going to transfer into this tiny little one. I have sanitized all my tools and all my surfaces as usual. So as I was telling you, I can put 16 shades in here. It's actually quite perfect because the two first rows are concealers and the third row is color correctors. Because this is only going to be for minimal touch-ups, I don't think I'll need color correctors because that's something that you apply at the beginning of the makeup application. So I'm only going to depot the first two rows of each palette, which is 16 shades. So I'm super happy about that. The left side of each palette is with warm tones and the right side is always cool tones. So I'm going to keep it organized that way in this palette. So all cool tones here, starting from light to dark and all warm tones from light to dark as well. And it's actually one of the easiest products to depart. The only thing I have to do is to um, pick some products with my spatula, transfer it into my view set. I'm not going to fill it up all the way just for expiry date reason. I'd rather only put a little bit of product, finish it all the way up and then clean the container and refill it with some new product. And then in between shades, I'm just cleaning my spatula. And now I'm just going to repeat the same process with all the different shades. I'm applying a big chunk and then I'm kind of smoothing it out with the spatula. And now I can move on to the shades with a warm undertone. Now that it's done, I'm just going to clean the edges up a little with just a paper towel. And there you go. Now I have 16 shades of concealer and it fits in the palm of my hand. Now let's move on to the lip palette. I'm going to start with the lip balms. This one is from Kiehl's. It's a matte lip balm. So I love to use it on men because there is no shine. And it also has a nice minty flavor. Next to it, I'm going to put this lip balm from Bird Bees. It's just a basic lip balm and it has the same fresh minty flavor. The very popular Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have it in the original flavor. And because that's a product that I use a lot, I'm actually gonna put it in this one as well. And now for the lipstick, I'm going to transfer some of this palette from Danessa Marix. It's called the Nudist. They have a beautiful shiny finish. They are quite hydrating. Not the most long lasting, but that's fine. Um, they are very pigmented and the shades are just so nice. You have a lot of beautiful, neutral, nude shades for all the different skin tones. And I might get a couple from this palette too. This one is called the Feminist. 
I'm going to pick four shades from this palette to put in the, this second row. I mentioned for these palettes though, they are really great. The only thing that's so bad about it is the packaging. The lid just comes comes off, like there's no way to lock it. There's no m way to make it stay. If you wanna add it to your kit, I would definitely recommend you to depot it right away because the lid is just so loose. I only added this shade because I feel like I don't use the other ones that much and if I do I can just find like a, a separate little container to put in my set bag but I don't think it's worth it to put it in in this little one. Now I'm going to add these two from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the shade Pillow Talk Original and the Very Victoria. And I'm going to depot them in this last row here. Uh, I'm gonna keep this row for matte finishes. I'm going to leave these spots empty for now because there's a few nude lipsticks that I that are on my wish list that I'll get next time I'm going to uh, do some shopping for my kit. So yeah, I'll just leave them like that for now. I'm going to clean it up a little. And there you go, that's my little lip palette. Just look at the size difference. Instead of carrying all of that in my kit or in my set bag, I can only take these two little guys with me. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try to put them on this little keyring and put this little hook on. And look at that. So I can just clip them on my set bag um, so they don't, don't get lost and I can access them quickly and I could also clip them on like my pants or my bag or like whatever I'm wearing that day. Look how cute that is. Honestly, they are so tiny. I can't wait to try them on set. Thank you so much for watching this video. Depotting videos are some of my favorite to film. Um, if you do like this type of video, I will put one for you to watch next just right here. Or if you want to see a video where I spill the tea and I talk about the products that I did not like, it will be on that side. Thank you so much. Take good care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bisous!